It's so bad. They're I like, mean, I don't even know bad. how to write in cursive anymore. Like, whoa, look at these team names. I mean, I'm down. Yeah, these team names kind of go hard. Psycho oh. Mantis. Oh, oh, Psycho oh. Mantis has some fan favorite, at least for me, a biased cast warning. All fan favorites. Yeah. Actually here. Also, I, I'm a huge fan of uh, the trainings. I think these are these trainings. I, love last I, I think it's one of the best trainings designs in the game. I think it makes I the game really fun. good. It's not. It's like Among Us if it wasn't shit. It's not like really biss on anyone. It's just good. It's just, it's just, it's a just good training. It's just it's fun, fun. And I can tap it off and they lose the power. Exactly. You, play, you can play around it, but you can also play around keeping it. Like, it's just yeah. a good awakening. And I like Artist it. Fighter is heavily underrated. Yeah. No, you think that thing is. If you insane. slap that on X and he gets a single kill, he has 160 power. It's disgusting. In the first set. All it's good. So X gross. Three. All good. All yeah. good. Midfield, look... Us midfielders. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Complaining about brawler that. characters. <laughs> Hey, and after today, I'm calling myself a midfielder. I proved that's, it. That's, I have the land buff. I did it. I played true. both roles. Landable. Shut up. I, it wasn't close. We had the game <laughs> in the bag the whole time. But yeah. Oh. Get into this game. Yeah, you know everyone in this game. Right? I do. Yeah, this is going to be an actually good game, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think this will be competitive. Uh, it will. The only thing I will say, though, I think... Oh. I'm definitely... I don't know. I, honestly? Interesting choice that they... It's like the battle of the, the concepts here. With yeah. the prize fighter versus the class cannon it is a little bit of a battle of concepts i do think that um what's it called red team is gonna have a very easy time in the early game because it's prize fighter with luna vice yeah i feel like it's gonna be a bit hard for psycho mantis to play the game unless they can get some sort of stagger awakening as we're seeing right now with <laughs> the goalie dying now the midfielder dying but rabbit rob is back up the Zakar does have a couple shotguns oh really well played there keeps it away from card box luna Nuke coming in i mean it there's nothing really special about this old gentleman. It's going to be prize fighter stacking for red team, and blue team is going to try their best to live and get some XP coming into the next set. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those times where you don't think about it until you're playing the game, but there's just some matchups where you just accept that your first set is going to be ugly. Yeah, I mean, you're going to need some stagger trainings. And Yoshi, Yoshi, Mr. Artist opted for siphoning for a little damage straight back and some survivability, but. Uh, I would be shocked if if he gets much value from this class cannon, especially something I am surprised about um, is Lola Mao getting Rasmus, which I actually think yeah, is I mean, his best character by and by. I think he's a beast at it, actually. You say that, Bill, but oh. like, <laughs> it's hard to just, it feels really hard to just ban certain things. Like, I, I don't know about you. I mean, actually, I know this very well. It's a little bit weird to ban the Rasmus, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, you're, you always, in your head, you're like, do I need to ban Rasmus? Yeah, you know, like, you get it. <laughs> but yeah, I just, the character's good, but like, it's not, it's not like, okay, we're, they're winning the whole game because of it. But it's, yeah. a, it's a good character, so it feels weird. But when it's someone's bis, you probably ban it. As you're seeing right now, Lilima having kind of a field day, but low key, I mean, card box on the vice and forgot are both just kind of destroying the competition with just how yeah. much damage they're doing. But Rabbit and Rob's holding it down. I mean, Johnny F and Rabbit and Rob are holding it down. They're giving Zio Shiyoshi enough time to do anything. But like you said, I mean, set one's going to be kind of a loss yeah. at this point. I think they're going to need some stagger training. This is also uh, Forgot's first tournament debut on goalie since NASL last season. I didn't even know Forgot was here. I never even saw him. He, he was supposed to be here, and then something happened. So they're letting him play. Oh. They're a little flexible. He had okay. some extenuating circumstances. He was supposed to be here. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Still able to play it out. All's fair. And I'm excited to see it. Say it again? <laughs> Alright guys, I need a... What should my boba order be? I'll let chat decide my boba order here. I will drink anything except coffee. That will be the side mission for this draft when Bond talks about okay. it. I need the chat to type their boba yeah. orders and I'll choose one. That's facts. Fresh is treating his, his teammate after... He's his treating teammate me after I dragged him carried his corpse, <laughs> corpse to winter side. A little, re a little treat. Um, all right, chat. I know that Catalyst is the best training, but Rasmus should go add rush 50 times out of 50 here. All good. Failed the mission. That's fine. Drakkar I mean, should deny hot shot. All good. Nice try. Okay, I don't mind. Okay, I think this is fine. The, the denying the stagger, the, the stagger denies also fine, but I don't like the Catalyst. I don't think Drakkar ever think so. cares. No, I don't give a shit. They're all gonna die. Who cares if Drakkar is like 30 extra HP? I guess. From what I see, Lola Mao hasn't really killed anyone. He's oh, not the he, one killing people. Now nah, he's got some kills. Has he? Also, you don't need to get the kill to proc Ad Rush. You just yeah, need to help. He gets so much true. hit damage. Yeah, I guess so. I think it's. I think this Ad Rush training is, when you're 
killing so much as a squad. All you need to do is like walk back and tap them with secondary. And I mean, Razzle is the best kill converts in the game. So that, I'm, that is true, actually. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of that training because it's so. That's if you're the stronger team, already you're getting the KO advantage, but it just makes it so the other team just can't can't handle that. I don't think it. Again, it's it's not gonna matter. And <laughs> it's Catalyst. Yeah, I mean, so, it, it's Catalyst. That, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't mind that he took Catalyst because it's Catalyst. Like, I feel like a lot of players, I've actually gotten DMs about this. Like, when should I take Catalyst and when shouldn't I? It's hard to say. Yeah, because I would it's say so strong, it's strong. just tell people like 95% It's never, take it. if you don't know what to do, just take it. Um, I would say, though, if, if I was playing against Demons and I was Psycho Mantis, they would have taken Adverse there for sure. <laughs> but that's a, that's a good point that you make, where yeah. if you're if you're confused about what you should take and it's up, just de facto probably don't give it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think they lose the game or any worse off by him getting Catalyst. No, no. Because I think, he gets flips, he's playing rounds, yeah. they're playing to score anyway, they're already winning at this point, right? Like, I, it, it's definitely it's definitely a matchup that Smiling Misfortune looks like they're just killing them on, so I'm not super, I'm not super surprised. Um, also, enjoy watching Forgot playing Luna. I think he's gained a lot of confidence since switching to midfield about um, picking more than just the Dubu he was known for. It was a bit of a hallmark when Forgot was on Bozo Bunch that, like, oh, Bo the meme was like, oh, he's off Dubu, Bozo loses. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I might have uh, said that a couple times. And and for the most part, it, it reflected in their standings. Yeah, it, it definitely did. And, but he's now not playing Dubu, they did lose a lot. Yeah, but now after he's put in so many hours on midfield, Maybe a little bit on Brawler. I think it, it shows his comfort level picking other things. I think Forgot made the long trip and ended up at the right place. Like, yeah. had the rough season last season, right, the goalie, trying to try out new things and board a Dubu, but in terms of now and now playing midfield, has a lot more of that experience, and we're kind of seeing it now of being comfortable in that Luna goalie, which is not an easy pick. I mean, people no. want to, like, like, you know, since it's probably the hardest one. It, it might execute. be the hardest goalie to execute be when you're playing against, you know, competent players. Yeah. And as we've seen right now, I mean, red team's looking really competent. There's Storm of the Keep. Yeah. yeah. There's Storm of the Keep for sure. Looking back at the draft, I mean, the now is obviously really good, but it feels like they don't really have a lot of cohesion as a comp. And also, something that a lot of people don't think about too mm -hmm. is this: is this blue side draft uh, Borg is. When you're Psycho Mantis, and this doesn't show itself until you no. you play a lot more oh, Oak Up season. And Is that it's prime time on on Kazan there. Yeah, yeah, I probably would have done it's that. It's definitely too. prime time Kazan there. I mean, perfect form mind bug is going crazy right now. I mean, hey. actually, wait, no, it makes sense because Yoshi's a Zen player, and the perfect form mind bug for the Zen right there. I don't know. I feel like it's definitely prime time. But missile prop on the Jakar and also remedy on the now. Maybe we'll see a Psycho Mantis resurgence here. I mean, they got some awakenings. They can definitely do something. I, I think I don't think so, but maybe. I think one of the things that's hard too, which which I was uh, which I was commenting on there, is that Psycho. No, you're chump. Psycho Mantis comp is essentially three melee characters. Yeah. And that's something that a lot of people kind of like forget. They're like, oh, you know, they have now. They have Kazan. Like those are strong characters. But when you have two characters like Luna and Vice on the other side, they can touch the ball or hit you from across the screen and. Psycho Mantis' team just can't. They have to be next to them. And and that, like, ability to buy that space uh, puts more pressure on you than even players think. Like, even when you're active in the game, you don't think about it. It's just something that doesn't really cue. Yeah. No, I definitely, I mean, personally, I don't really like the now Kazan forward duo, in my opinion. I think Kazan is really good at... Um, He's good at containing the core, but he doesn't have the best finishes in terms of getting barriers and everything. He kind of gets it through time. Like, you just kind of, like, use your abilities to make the other goalie use their abilities, and your midfielder comes in and helps you finish a job. Yes. Whereas if he was playing something like Julie or X, they can do it themselves, right? And that's what now. That's why now with X and now with Julie are so good. Or when Julie's good, you know what I mean. But, like, with yeah. characters like that, right? Because now just kind of gets them the core once and can heal them to keep them alive. And then they get, you know, they get the thing here. But the thing that now struggles with most of the time, at least, is she uses everything for midfield and also to heal people. She doesn't have anything to help score most of the time. Yes, dude. Oh, I feel so yeah. fucking seen. My team's like, yo, you gotta pick the now here. I'm like, this doesn't do anything but 
I mean, it's a good character. It's just Dolph. Wrong, it's yeah. a falling character. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, it falls for your forward to do something, but when you're the, you as the midfielder need to be the one doing things, now I feel like it's not the best character. Yeah, and she's not proactive. Uh, not or, or she can't, she can be, but she can't like force it in. It's not like Estelle, or it's not like high, or it's not like. Um, plenty of other up. Like, yeah, I mean, plenty, plenty of stuff. Plenty here, right? I think also, <laughs> this is. <laughs> I also think now that this game is over, this is definitely one of those games where I can't I can't read the chat, but I know someone typed damage is weak. Yeah, and this was a bit of a yeah. The thing of those like, it's harder. I mean, I'll say. It. I mean, everyone knows it. Damage is harder to execute than core control. It just as the as the skill level got better and people get better at living. Like, people can complain about damage all they want but like when you pick characters that don't output a lot like let's be real unless you really hard focused on Kazan to do it he's not like a premier damage he's deal. not a damage character anymore. no they they they, so they, they picked three characters i mean now does it when she gets in training sure but they picked three characters on a prize fighter start and they all have glass cannons so if you're getting hey you don't even have a training so it's like yeah. i'm watching i'm watching these teams and there's gonna be people going like, "Oh, damage, 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 so broken." Blah blah blah. blah. When are they gonna? When is it not gonna be a damage meta? But like, they put themselves in this hole. That's yeah. exactly what I'm trying to get at, Borg. It's just there was no option. Um, Spawning misfortune looked great on the prize fighter start, and then once they get the three stacks, all of them have what 50 more power from that one training. Yeah. So I mean, here's the thing, guys. Let me just public service yeah, announcement hey, for everybody. Lock in. Now is really good, but. You can't just pick her into damage and expect for everybody on the team to live. That's just how it is. They nerfed her stagger, so the I mean I'm just gonna tell you what every Nassau team that picks damage thinks. Kill the now. They're not yeah. banned now anymore. Yeah. Like we, we don't ban now anymore for a reason. You can just kill her. She has like five stagger. She you can just kill her. So, I can vouch. PSA, do not pick now by itself and expect to not die anymore. You need to have a you know a training start that's good for it, or characters that have evades, have things that you can use to dodge, like Zen, like because on kind of, but I mean I don't know. It just it just doesn't work here. And then obviously the glass cannon is very counterintuitive to yeah. what they need to be doing. I right? love the training, but especially when you all have it and you're brawling. Is that Soren? 